Lost to where, where the, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. Sydney is right here. Piper's on the couch. <laughs> you saw her. She had proof of life in the picture earlier. The brutal cup. You guys saw her. She's she's good. She's on the couch. Growling is normal. Uh, good morning. It's Friday. We have football tomorrow. Um, what time is the game? Mine is at 1045 in Spring Grove. Um, last football game of the year. This week, we had two hard freezes at my house. Not a frost. We had two hard freezes. I covered my stuff for the one and then didn't get an alert for the second one and forgot. I, I'm so mad. Like, mad at myself. I, mad. My stuff is still good. The only mad. thing is I covered up my... Um, Bloomstruck? Bloomstruck hydrangeas because they got a bunch of buds and a bunch of flowers on them the first night. And I didn't realize that we were getting it the second night too. So I uncovered them and so the tops of them got brown, but they're still good. I had a whole... They still have flowers. Oh, I've got How flowers. far are those? They're six foot wide, I think, circles. Those are her flowers for this week. She's still good. Yep. The, I picked them on Monday and they're still really good. And I have a lot out there so I can pick more because these are starting to get faded, so... I had a six foot round of um, green beans that I was really like intent on. I was going to blanch them and save them for, well, I'm so mad. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Um, other than that, baseball, football, stitching. Um, yes. Is that it? Um, I had another one of those restaurant moments with a man. <laughs> I wasn't there. I, I ate at home this week. So we were supposed to have a football game on Saturday night for the oldest grandson, and it was lightning. So then they canceled the game. So we all—I can't believe you guys even went. It was storming, storming. It wasn't storming here. It was sunny oh, here. at our house. It was storming. It was sunny here. We were, and then we got up there, and it was dark and lightning. But we no, were debating no about going because we had to go get her some clothes, and both of us are like, "Are we like eighty that we don't want to go out because it's like lightly drizzling?" And then it started pouring as soon as we got in the there car. There was no rain. Mm. So there's not a whole lot of places around the school where we went, and we ended up going to like a bar type of a place. <gasps> so Priscilla in a bar. <laughs> So we walk in and, ah! and the guy's like handing Hunter like wads of Mardi Gras beads and there's a band playing like Mardi Gras type music. And Were it's, you talked into flashing them? It's not. <laughs> oh. It's halfway to Mardi Gras was their celebration thing. So we sit down and we're ordering our food and everything and I see our old neighbor. Okay. So I'm like, hi. And Redacted. He, <laughs> he's like, me? And I was like, oh my gosh. Did you say, yeah, I used to live down the road from you? No, I didn't go talk to him because he was, he was, looked at us like he had no idea who we were. He was halfway to Mardi Gras. Yeah, well. he was on the way to Mardi Gras. <laughs> so, he was all the way. Yeah. All the way to yeah. Mardi Gras. So I said to, Parker was sitting next to me and I'm like, maybe it's not him. And he's like, oh, it's him. So he got up and he went and talked to him and he was still like, I can't believe how big you guys are and how, and then Hunter stood up and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> the boys are tall. The boys are tall. It was pretty funny. Um, I got some of my Christmas lights up. <laughs> Every year we say we're going to do it when it's nice and warm outside instead of do it. Cause you know, when you make your husband go out in the cold and do it, or you go out and do it in the cold and you're just like, oh God, I hate this. We didn't want to do that this year. Other than that. I don't do a whole lot of lights outside. I know, but you decorate outside. And when it's cold, do you want to do that? Do the boys like doing it when it's cold outside? Or do they moan less when it's not? There you go. Um, I think that was it for the week, right? We wintered up a lot of our... We had a lot of trees fall. So I had... While we were gone in uh, California, we have the wood chip guy called and said, Hey, I've got a load of wood chips. Do you want them? Yes. He went down our drive to turn around our gravel drive and rip down a huge limb off of our oak tree and so we had to clean that all up he said he cleaned it up and he did okay <laughs> um, um all right so we have questions from last week oh what did i watch this week love is blind oh Sir, watch it it's so oh no, you don't have netflix I'm, i am not gonna watch that weird stuff it's not weird um 
I started watching the um, Emily Baker started doing the coverage for the Sarah Boone trial. Okay. And she's continuing it today, so I'm gonna watch that. I watched the um, I'm Not a Monster on HBO with Lois Reese. I had never heard of that. If you haven't watched that, watch that. It's a pretty good documentary. She is Delulu. Um, all right, so I love that you had a great time in Disneyland and that you shared your honest hotel experience. That's you. And could you please oh. tell us where you got the pumpkins for the autumn sayings of the season? Is that good? Hobby Lobby. Hobby, Hobby, Hobby Lobby. They just have like a whole aisle of pumpkins <laughs> and their bins with all the different pumpkins. Here we go. How many football round of Round of plouts. Are you planning on doing? I have a project that I would like to use them for, and I need to know if there's going to be enough of them. Okay, so there's going to be five plus then you get the bonus, so six. Six total if you stitch the bonus. Can you iron? Oh, how'd your shirt go? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I bought the stuff. I, I except bought, for the black thread. I bought that wonder under fusible stuff. Right, but I did get the black thread in my Walmart order. And I forgot to buy the thread. And then... Okay, so your plan, and you've read some of the comments I sent them to you. You're yes. going to put the fusible stuff on the back. Yep. Yep. But I'm not going to go all the way to the edges. So, because all those shirts, they have, like, frayed edges. Not, yeah, but like, curled. You know, when that t-shirt fabric, yeah. like, curls. So, I'm going to sew about a quarter inch. But I just looked at it, and I was like, it's still sitting over there. She's going to do it. She's just nervous to do it. But yeah. thank you, everybody, for your recommendations gonna, on how to do it. I'm going to rinse out that shirt really quick. I don't um, put any of my shirts in the dryer. Like my sweatshirts, my T-shirts, none of them. I don't put them in the dryer. I just hang I don't up. even know why you have a dryer, to be honest. You don't use well, it. Yeah, I do. I dry, like, my pajamas and my towels and <laughs> sheets. <laughs> and um, my bedspread when the cat pukes on it. <laughs> <laughs> Love the baby fat rolls. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She is thick. Um, she turned six months this week. We put her in a pumpkin, so you can see those pictures on my Instagram. It, the pumpkin was too deep, so inside I had to put a garbage bag, and then I put a pillow, like a little day pillow down there and a blankie, and then sat her in it. And she's like, she's naked, and I'm like, that's what they do for girls. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> it was a lot. We always put them in, uh, like, a... Turtleneck or something. Would you consider a baseball design? I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Yes, we've got. Yes, no, nothing's good. coming like right now. Soon, right? It would be baseball more season. Time. That little Laura Ingalls is precious. Thank you, uh, Chelsea. I love the way you interact with your mom. Thank you. It's taken years of practice. Do you also design? No, I don't have a creative bone in my body. Oh God. They were um, doing a pumpkin carving contest for Cash's school this week. And he's like, you can do something, mom. You know how to do crap. No, I don't. I know. I know how to follow a pattern that grandma puts out for me. That's what I know how to do. What Disney YouTube channels do you follow? Um, Tim Tracker. Adam the Woo. I think that might be it right now. Oh, Kyle. Hallows sometimes. I used to watch them all the time, but sometimes. Where did you get the black and white braided cording that you used? It's gift wrap ribbon from or ribbon in the from Hobby Lobby. But I looked and they don't have it right now. I did order Where did you originally find it? In the ribbon section over by the fabric? No. In the Christmas ribbons. Christmas ribbons. Um I did look online and there's different places where you can get it, but you can also buy that cording maker and make your own cording. I just have never tried that. And I had that and I thought, oh my goodness, it'll look so cute. Chelsea, who are you rooting for to win on Big Brother? Um, well, they already concluded it. I really wanted Mackenzie. I thought Mackenzie was so, I mean, morally, I saw her bringing Chelsea, but I mean, if she wanted to win the $750,000, she should have brought Cam. Cam did nothing this season but ride coattails. And it, you can talk all you want about a social game, but <laughs> my God, if you're not like participating in the challenges and you're not going to. It uh, sounds so funny to hear her talk about this because I watched for years and no one would ever watch. Well, now I'm into it. Um, <laughs> Survivor. Who do I want to win on Survivor? Not Rome. Um, not Andy. Rob? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like Rob to be back there. So we actually started watching Australia's uh, Survivor. You can watch it on Apple TV. It is more like the original Survivor feel, like with those 
kinds of personalities and 45 days I think they're there or 44 days and it's like more I don't know it's just more like back to the old school type of thing I don't know I need the chicken mug for my mom. Where did she get it? Uh, those, I mean, probably. The only places that have them are TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, or you can go on Mercari and just pay more for it if you desperately need it. Where'd you get your black and white plaid shirt? Amazon. We'll link it once she yeah. does it and fits it, make sure it, it fits right and everything. And I bought another. What she likes is that there's no. Thing in the yeah, back. you can't have the the pleat in the back to put the the shirt on. But I bought a uh, a pink and black checked one, and it came yesterday. So I need to. You know, most times when you buy flannels, they have that pleat back here, and that really wouldn't yeah be wouldn't easy lay to flat. sew over. So that this one, you sized up for it too. We'll see. No, I haven't washed it yet. Oh, I cut it out, but not, that's not. It's not like square, but I just wanted to see what it would look like. It's okay. Um, interfacing, fusible web strips, and maybe zigzag the edges in black thread. Better yet, send it to Kimberly and her team. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, those are the questions I have. So yeah, they would have had it done in 14 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, but I thought that that would be such a good idea for some of us, you know, like your your hem starts to come out on the bottom or something, so you could just cut the patch out. Yeah. Or, like, I have one of the big canvas bags that I was going to use that at first because I've worn a hole in it because it's the first one I got in, what, five years or whatever? Yeah. yeah. So And she uses that all through the airports and, I mean, everywhere yeah. she goes, so <laughs> easy to do. Yeah. 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 Just a way to reuse it instead of... Sitting in the closet or going to donation. But then you can wear like a t-shirt or, or um, the, our new Christmas shirts when they come and put that over it and it'll be really cute. So I brought up a few more Halloween and the house is like 75% done. I told her hopefully next week early we can get a home tour done. And... Um, <laughs> last night Parker took a cabinet that I had in the family rooms and I like my family room so much better without that cabinet so I'm so glad it's gone but they took it to their new house and this, she got something to replace this, this is October 31st Dapper Duda oh and I went to a craft show this weekend oh, too yeah. I went to Fall Diddley which I used to exhibit at every year and I had two spaces and I was always in one of the buildings and it was a really great craft show. Mom had a business prior to this uh, called Priscilla's or it used to be Priscilla's Potpourri mm -hmm. with like shelf sitter dolls with cedar blocks inside of them. Mm -hmm. And I mean she'd have like country girls or uh, bunnies or Santas or scarecrows. She had all these different um, seasonal things. Yeah. But anyway, um, there was a lot of really cute stuff. There was a lot of stuff that wasn't homemade, but I did get some really cute signs. You want to hate grow? <laughs> and I got, uh, yeah, I asked, I babysat Chance last night and I said, <laughs> I said, can I have a hug? So he comes over, he hits me in the eye, he headbutts me, and then he hugs me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, Ike. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, He's a toughie. <laughs> okay, so this is October 31st, and it's a Dapper Doodad. I just saw this in somebody's display, too. And then our, one of our old favorites, Boo to You. And this was on a piece from Walmart, but I'm sure you could find some something else to hang it on. I'm sure. Yeah. And then our October, let's go ride a bike. It's so cute. And that's it for my previous finishes. What did you put in the Etsy shop this week? Oh my gosh, we had a lot of stuff go in the Etsy shop this week, including our, on October 15th, the ornaments. 
Yep, so those ornaments, it comes as a set of three, mm -hmm. and then um, the ornament pieces can be purchased at Chantel's. It's called a bauble bundle. Yep, there's a link to it on my blog. So you and can. I'll put a link on this video. So you can find the ornament base. And then what else do we put? This is Halloween. Oh. Oh, I watched. Okay, let's talk about that. So we love Jack Skellington. And then we watched that. I've never seen the video, the movie. We watched that this past weekend after I'd already decided that she could be Sally and he could be Jack. It is a wackadoodle movie. Duh. It's. It's wacky. Absolutely wacky. Duh. I, and it's too late to change her costume. I mean. That's why I said, why is she being a monster? Because at the ride, it's super cute. She was at so ugly Mansion. on the ride. No, she's not. Okay, so follows for football I was our like first. I look a lot like her. <laughs> <laughs> football is my favorite season. She's nuts. <laughs> I do with the long hair. And, and the... this week is game day. And I still haven't gotten them cut off. I need to find one of my kids or somebody to cut them off. And I'm going to make a banner to hang. And then we're working on our gingerbreads. Bittersweet Boulevard of the Blooming Roots series also went into the Etsy shop. And we have a note in with Etsy to see about. Yeah, what their problem is. Yes. I thought you said it takes 24 hours. It's been it 24 did. hours. And then they asked me for pertinent information, so I had to make sure that it was an actual email address before I gave them our identification numbers that they were asking for, and now I haven't heard back. Oh, so we got scammed. <laughs> <laughs> so our first was the gingerbread girl, and I took the rick rack off and I put the trim on because I like it so much. Oh. Then we had the gingerbread boy, and I added greenery to him, but I forgot to add it. I forgot to add greenery to the other two, which I will do. And these little rolling pins are from Walmart, and it's a set of four of them for like two dollars or something. Two forty-four, I think. And then this week is baking gingerbread, and a little bit gingerbread standing on the scale with the rolling pin. It's okay. In a gingerbread house. Chelsea's checks in red and white. Of course, our ribbons. And then a little gingerbread ornament on the back. I feel like actually now she's going to get a tooth. I've been saying that for five months. What else did I want to show? Oh. I don't know what that is. Oh. So, these be cute. There's a set, they're ornaments. And I thought that these would be cute, the smaller ones to use as like bow decorating. Yeah. Like a um, do I have anything else here? But anyway, I will have Chelsea link these in the. It'd be cute on the adorable. In our Amazon. But it, it wasn't that bad. You get like a whole box, and then you there's... can make a banner of those two tie knots. Yeah, and there's a string in here to do that. I thought you said ornament. But look so at I this. Thought it would be cute. Yeah. Look at how cute. Can you look where my? Hair and this guy is? would definitely look really cute on a bow. And this one too. So we will link those in the Amazon, and I'm gonna go see if there's ones for Christmas also that you can use as. Toppers. Okay. <clears throat> I need recommendations for an eyelash serum. I need recommendations for a growth serum. <laughs> Something I used took out majority of my eyelashes on my left side. Um, and the ones that it didn't I take didn't out. I don't understand take out. You mean they're gone? Yeah, they. Th there's a lot of them that are missing. And then um, the ones that are there are like half of what they were before. What did you use on your eyes? Mascara. Don't you I've, use the same one? No, I've been mixing it up with a few different ones because I wanted my lashes to look longer because that my eyes are hidden under. Anyways, it's a long story. <laughs> Mackenzie on Big Brother has like these beautiful long lashes and I wanted my lashes to look long, but then I took half of them off. So just be yourself. Moral of the story. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, what else? 
Can you show my whip that I just finished? Don't no. show it. Can you no. be like, no, you're not even using Okay. Um, what do we have over here? Oh, the from Creative Carol. We got a couple of bags from Creative Carol. Oh, sweaters. Is it one bag? So cute. No, there's two. She packages really nice. Oh, cute. It's Christmas sweaters, holiday sweaters, winter sweaters. So we will give these away Big today. summer blowout. I just got the Texas Roadhouse call. <laughs> no Texas Roadhouse this week. It's got to be someplace else. Oh. I you told don't... you last week. I was sick of it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, what, what okay, we're going to try this. Um, we had some giveaways last week. The first one is going to be, <laughs> um, football season right here. Football season roundabout. This is a PDF. So you just email me what you want. I also had a bunch of computer issues. So giveaways went out later than normal this week. Just so you know, that was a nightmare. Um, Deborah Swan, 9596, Lisa Rank, 6853, and Chris C, 6510. Matt's going through H-E double hockey sticks to get my warranty. I have to tell you about that. Um, the Gingerbread Boy. This goes to Jamie underscore Levy, Leslie Gray, 2949, and Jill Dodge, 6688. Then we have the PDF Tricks and Treats. Oh, it's right here. Tricks and treats. A couple people finished this this week, or we're very close to finishing this. So congratulations. This goes to Chris G five nine eight six, Debbie Sisk, and Heather Grafton thirteen. Then Halloween adorables. This would be cute with one of those things yes. right up here. No, we're doing a video. The the wreath one. Yeah. Emily Loma, 1590, Nancy McGuire, 712, and Birdie Couture. Good job. Presley. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, Ghoul's Garland. Ghoul's Garland. I had questions about that. So I linked Ghoul's Garland. We talked about it in last week's video. Pumpkin Pile, the one we showed. It's right behind me. It's on a book. The one we should, this one is a bonus on the Ghoul's Garland. So I linked the Ghoul's Garland in our Etsy or in our description box mm -hmm. to go to our Etsy for Ghoul's Garland. And once you download Ghoul's Garland, it'll be attached with that. All right. So that goes to Martha Cook, Rachel Stitches, and Brenda Jerbeck, seven, 6741. Then from Fat Quarter Shop, thank you, Kimberly and team. We have the Sew Sampler. Cheryl Dottillo, 2358, and AKH Quilts. Presley. Then we have the... You're not allowed to yell. We're on the video. Was I yelling? Yeah. Oh. Well, half deaf. The Espresso Ada. So this is part of the Fabric of the Month Club that Fat Quarter Shop does. They have an Ada and a linen. And then you receive like neutrally colors. I've not seen anything outlandish, but more neutrally colors uh, throughout the year. This goes to Lori Henderson, 812, and Mel of Hope Stitches. This is a physical item. The Sew Sampler, a physical item. I need a physical address to send you a physical item. Then the espresso linen. This is like a dark chocolate brown. Very pretty for anything fall. Mm -hmm. uh, Tracy Daly, 6980, and Denise Fells. Yeah. Next, we have the fine floss pack. So this is the bougie floss. This is MPI Silk. So another club that you can join up to build your stash. So if you're somebody that uses MPI Silks regularly, they also have a uh, Weeks Dye Works and a Classic Color Works that you can join and you get skeins each month and it builds up your floss stash so you can interchange colors. This goes to Linda Skinner 5887 and Dave F6594. Physical item, I need a physical address. Email address is listed in the description box below. Thank you for entering. 
Um, we talked about what we watched on TV. Mm -hmm. um, I've listened to a podcast during school pickup. It's called Scamanda. It's about a woman who scams a bunch of people. Very interesting if you're interested in that kind of thing. Right now I'm listening to the Betrayal podcast. Number uh, giveaways for this week. Number. Did you ever finish the Book of Murder? Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I need to give you pa my passwords to be able to. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can listen to it again the next retreat we go to. <laughs> Good girl. Does that feel nice? So we're doing a carrot. I I grew carrots. This is one from mom's house, but she's been chewing on those. Not chewing, but running them on her teeth. And then we do the wash rag in the freezer and she chews on that. Back to the olden days. <laughs> no modern medicine. <laughs> hey, I do my best to steer away from any of those kinds of things. Um, and then all the plastic that they have to, as teethers to yeah, put in Yeah, we just didn't know better. No, you did know better. <laughs> I, I, no, back in the olden days, you used whiskey and things like that. So, I mean, I'm not that far, but. Um, okay, number back one. Back in the olden days. That's what Cash calls them. Or he says the golden days, you know, like in the 1980s. <laughs> Mom, do we know anyone that was born in the 1980s? No. Yes, we, when I we don't. my hair done, the lady said, oh, are you kind of cross-stitching? I said, yes. And she said, I used to do that. <laughs> she was an older lady. And I said, oh, like in the 80s? Oh, no, not that long ago. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I think that that's when it was big. Yeah. Before. Did you give her your card? No. <laughs> Number one, three opportunities to win game day. Number two, three opportunities to win baking gingerbread next year. Help remind me of the name. <laughs> I wanted to put like gingerbread standing on a scale. That's number two. Number three, three opportunities to win October 31st, Dapper Doodad. Okay. Number four, three opportunities to win Let's Go Ride a Bike Haunted Trail. The Haunted Trail is this weekend. What day? Saturday. Oh, um, maybe. That's a night thing, right? We might be able to actually. We're going to well, try to do Richardson's after the game. At, at three. That was number four. Number five. Oh, it's okay. One little bunny poo poo. Number five. Oh, yeah. Boo jar. Number five. And number, number six is candy corn. Number six is kitty candy corn. It's not glued on anymore. Number it was six. never glued on there. It was on a basket. Kitty candy corn. Number seven. We uh, left out an extra just in case Space Claire wasn't able to get it, but I think she's got it all <laughs> rectified. So number seven is an autumn sayings of the season bundle. A lot of you have already finished that. So that was my whip this week. Oh my goodness. I was trying to get it done so many times and then so much. Like car pickup, I hope that she takes a nap and then she wasn't napping and stitching in the back seat is really hard. We had a week. We had a week. All right, so that's seven, I said? Yeah, number seven. Um, number eight. The floss and Carol's bags. Number eight is two opportunities to win. One of Creative Carol. So she's Creative Carol on Etsy. Okay. For creative. And then number nine is two opportunities to win the floss. It's from Fat Quarter Shop. This is the classic color works uh, floss club of the month. What are they going to answer? Ah, this is Halloween. Most of you are followings. So reading the comments, a lot of you do both, which yes. I think is so smart. Yes. If you look at any of my pictures that I post in my house, you will still see that I have Matthew's birthday decorations up on my window. I have Cash's Americana banner in the window also. And then over on my nice I new cutting board. board. Yeah. On my nice new cutting. It's always good to be patriotic. Uh, I have Halloween. So I'm just a little of everything. I don't, I have Christmas lights in my front yard. So yes, I'm everything. But they're not lit up. 
Oh, they are. <laughs> he turned them off after the first day. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Uh, what are they going to answer? When do you start decorating for Christmas? Have you thought about when you're going to start? I would like to get, as soon as I get this done and the work that I have to get done, I would like to get my bedroom done before I leave. Yeah. So mom is doing a cruise at the beginning of next month. Yeah. Um, it's like cutting into my Christmas decorating time. And I'm she's like, super excited ah! though. Yeah. <laughs> she's got some new clothes for it. She just got a new jacket. She's got to show that new jacket next week. <laughs> Or go to grab it now. You can show it. It's really cute. <laughs> go grab it. She'll grab it for you. Is that an Amazon find or no? Yeah. Okay. So it's on Amazon. So we could link it for you. Oh. Is that yum? Yummy. Oh, look at that. Is that pretty? Oh, and the back is flat. I could do it on here. Yeah. Uh, so this is a little jean jacket. Super <laughs> cute with rhinestones and pearls. Yep. Yep. It's pretty sparkly. I remember that one lady who came up and, I recognize you from your butt. <laughs> My nephew, Caden, was with us and he told everybody about it. They said that they recognized her from her butt because she had sparkles. <laughs> I had him going. He's like, Does, do people recognize you guys ever? I said, I can't even leave the house. <laughs> Obviously a joke. Yeah. Um, but you will. Yeah, we, leave the house. we, we, we don't. We, we tried to all over California. There wasn't anybody that knew us. No. <laughs> that was a rough drive from Disneyland <laughs> to Universal. That was a rough. First of all, you couldn't see any of the signs because they were all graffiti on. Yes. So we didn't know where we were going. It was just. It was rough. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, California used to be so beautiful, and I feel sorry for the people that live there. That not all Cal. She's you're generalizing. Just in that area that we were in, on the way from Disney to um, Universal, a major highway, obviously in LA, it was just it was. All I kept thinking was, they're bringing the Olympics here. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much garbage and. Yeah, they're gonna have to do a major cleanup. Which I mean, <laughs> it was so funny that we get off the airplane and we get on the highway and you know we're in basically Chicago and there's no garbage. So, well, it's not warm enough here all year round for people to live out there. I would assume is the difference. Well, they live downtown. Know. Yeah. Oh, look Outside. at that bluebird. Oh, did you see that? Was it a blue jay? Yes. So beautiful. They say that those are mean. Look, they're so pretty. Mm hmm I used to feed the birds all the time, but I had to stop because the squirrels and the chipmunks would get all the food, and then they'd plant it in my pots, and so I feel sorry for the birds. Sorry, birds. They're getting plenty of food. I mean, they pick your zinnias and stuff yeah. when it's over. Yeah. They're getting food. Mine, I left my sunflowers all out there, so that I yeah, took some too. off so I could save the seeds, but other ones I've... Hi, baby. Can I still say... gotta pick my zinnia seeds. Can you say mama, mama, mama? Have they, they confirmed that they're not gonna be selling? No. No. Maybe this is what happened to my eyelashes. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> answer the question. Uh, when you start decorating for Christmas, are you in the Christmas spirit? We kind of are. We, um, and then list out the numbers that you're interested in winning and like the video and be a subscriber. Okay, if you. If you get your finishing inspiration post, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. And if you make a flannel shirt with our stuff on the back, <laughs> show us. And give us your address so we can know. <laughs> No, I need mine soon. <laughs> anyway, um, follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com, where you should go cook something. I got apples, and I want to make I have praline apple bread recipe on my blog, and you guys need to make that, and the apple pizza. Yeah, so if you can't find it in her search thing, I've never seen the search button on her blog, but... It's uh, up at the top in the left. It's a little tiny If thing. not, you can go to Google and you type in Priscilla's 2000 and then whatever you're looking for. So you could do recipes or you could do praline apple bread. You could do apple, Priscilla's 2000 apple, and it'll pull up anytime she said apple in there, which is going to be the apple pizza or <laughs> the uh, praline apple bread. Or or it could be our, don't we have anything oh, named yeah, apples? Oh, yeah, we have apples. Yes. Mm, probably not. It's probably like shiny red objects. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, we will get that uh, home tour up next week. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. And I think that is it. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Zinni. Okay. <laughs>